In this video, we are going to go over what multiples are and how to find multiples and least common multiples. To list the multiples of a number, you simply count up by that number. Now this is something that you should write down in your notebook as you're taking notes. Remember, title and date, every video you watch. So, for example, the multiples of 4, we simply count up by 4. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, 28, and so on. This could go on forever and ever and ever. We would just keep counting up by 4s. So it's really easy to find multiples. You count by 3s to find the multiples of 3s. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and so on. You'll count up by 8s to find the multiples of 8. So we start at 8, count up by 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and I could keep going and going and going and going, but we'll just list the first five. Homework question number one, list the first five multiples of the number six. Now a lot of kids confuse factors and multiples. Now remember yesterday we talked about factors, and the factors of a number um, are numbers that multiply together to equal a product. So the factors of the number 12 are the numbers that multiply together to equal 12. So 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4 are all factors of 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Multiples are always going to be equal to or greater than the number itself. So the multiples of 12, again, we're going to count up by that number. So 12, 24, 36, and we could keep going and going and going and going and going, but we'll just list the first couple. So you need to remember the difference between factors and multiples. Homework question number two. List the factors and the multiples of 20. For the multiples, just list them up to 100. You don't need to go beyond that. So remember, multiples you're counting up. Factors you are finding numbers that multiply together that equal 20. Go ahead and draw your best jack-o'-lantern underneath the title of your notes. Now you will be asked to find the least common multiple or LCM. When you find all the multiples of two or more numbers and you find some multiples that are the same or common, the smallest of those common multiples is the least common multiple. This is kind of similar to the greatest common factor in that we're going to list multiples of two or more numbers and we're going to find the ones they have in common. So let's find the least common multiple of 3 and 4. So we will list the multiples of 3 and so we count up by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and 27. Now, you're going to wonder, okay, when do I stop? I could keep listing multiples of 3 forever and ever and ever. Remember, you're trying to find the least common multiple. So just use your, your better judgment, use your, your number sense to know that you don't need to keep making these lists go on and on and on. So multiples of 4 are 4, 6, or excuse me, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. So now I need to find the common multiples. What, not, what multiples are on both lists? So I've got, let's see, I've got a 12 on both, and I've got a 24 on both. So the common multiples of 3 and 4 are 12 and 24. Now the least common multiple, or the smallest of those two numbers, would be 12. So the least common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. And as you can see, I can find the least common multiple really by just listing the first four multiples of 3 and the first three multiples of 4. Alright, so we're going to find the least common multiple of 6 and 10. So we will list the multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36. We'll stop there. I'm just going to use my number sense to know I probably don't need to go much more than that. And if I do, I can always add to my list. 
So, and then the multiples of 10 are easy. 10, 20, 30. Well, I can stop there because I found a common multiple. 30 is a common multiple of 6 and 10, and it's also the least common multiple. It's the smallest one they have in common. So the LCM of 6 and 10 is 30. Let's find the least common multiple of 6 and 18. Go ahead and pause your video, and I want you to try and list this out before I do. Least common multiple of 6 and 18. Okay, so we will list the multiples of 6. 6, 12, 18, 24. Now, if you've got pretty good number sense, you'll recognize, well, I have 18. I can just stop because 18, when I start listing multiples of 18, 18 is now on both lists. So I've got common multiple already. So the least common multiple of 6 and 18 is just going to be 18. Homework question number three. Find the least common multiple of 4 and 9. And your last homework question, number four, find the least common multiple of 6 and 8.